Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am hanging out my favorite, Justine. You're hanging out my favorite? What I say? With my, maybe with my. <laughs> what I say? I'm hanging out my favorite. <laughs> you know who it is. Oh, Justine, it's just shorthand now. It's not even full sentences. It's just shorthand. You know what I mean. I mean, I do. I don't know anything anymore. <laughs> I'm just so happy oh she's God. here. We haven't seen each other in forever. It's been months. It's been terrible. I know, and now we're back for more kitchen gadgets. That's right, you guys requested <laughs> it. This is Trying Kitchen Gadgets Part 100 Billion. And if you guys love these videos, which it seems like you do, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Also, Mike is reminding me that our, our limited edition Nerdy Nummy's 10th anniversary merch is only available for another day and a half to order because they are pre-order. So you've got a day and a half left and I'm wearing one of the little crop tops. We also got a crew neck and stuff. And it's to celebrate 10 years of Nerdy Nummies. A whole Ten. decade of baking. That's wild. On I YouTube. I can't believe it. That's I can't amazing. either. I just feel like I just started. And if you guys are new to my channel, I'm gonna be putting Justine's links down below. Go check her out, show her some love, subscribe, give her the hearts, cause she is the absolute best. She's one of my favorite people in the whole world. There, boom, I said full sentence, no you're, shorthand there. You're my favorite person too, so this works out really great. Hope we have some more wins, because I tried Kitchen Gadgets with Joey, and we almost got all fails. Really? Yee. Okay, but this is something that is speaking to me, because well, oh. I love corn, but I hate corn on the cob because I feel like I have this trauma from my childhood of having braces, and mm -hmm. like I, I tried to eat corn on the cob and popped one off, and like I have that feeling, so it's like I cannot even bite into corn to this day. We are gonna find the corniest gadget because when I'm looking online, there's a ton of corn gadgets. Really? So if this isn't the one, we're gonna find it. Do you think that we might need to do a full episode on corn? Just a whole corny episode. Yeah. Oh my God, I will bring my own corn. If you want us to do a full corn episode, <laughs> comment corn emojis down below in the comments. Let's clear this stuff out of the way and then Let's try it. Okay. Okay. Oh, we have some text. <clears throat> this is a two-in-one multi-function stripper. Huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Justine. I'm five. I'm five years old. That, yeah. that's funny. Well, um, I mean, okay. I did leave out the word corn, but you know, <laughs> it's just <laughs> I'm also five. Should we open it first, and then yes. I'll read the, the directions? Okay. <laughs> I feel like we've done another corn one, but Did it wasn't we? this one. Don't fall. Okay. Oh God, okay. Well, Got you it. can have your corn and a workout. I feel like uh, the grammar on this box is really not proper, but that's okay. Assembly the corn stripper <laughs> on the container. <laughs> Who is writing this, me? <laughs> <laughs> now, step two, we need to confirm that the slots match well. And then you need to push the cob with full corn through the stripper, <laughs> reverse the half stripped cob, and then put the stripped end into safe pusher. What? Push and twist the cob with half corn, remove the totally stripped cob and the corn stripper, and then you can move on to cook as you like. Oh, are we not supposed to cook it? Oops, I don't remember what I read. What? Right. I mean, who would? So oh. this part's really, it has like big teeth in here. It's like a sharp. Really sharp. Okay, do you do put it, I do appreciate that, yeah. cause it's, that, you know, that's locked in. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, okay. And then you just put the, oh. So you didn't oh. even have to twist, probably because, oh, there you go. Okay, well Oh yeah, now, okay, you did, now you had to twist. So okay, you have so, half of it. And then we gotta, and what do you do? Look at that! Whoa, that's okay. pretty clean. As a corn connoisseur, I think this is fantastic. So now okay. this is the safe pusher. What's that for? You stick this in here like a little hat. Oh, to get the other half. Yep. Right, right. You don't want to so get your fingers. Yeah. It's actually pretty easy, and it's I very have easy. not been working out. Full disclaimer: I had surgery. I got a little fluffy. And you handled this like a champion. Yeah, easy. Okay, this worked really well. I, I think this am is impressed. honestly, I'm going to order this. No upper body strength. It was barely any assembly, and this was really, really easy. This is great. This is incredible. Do you want to cut a watermelon? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I 
one ready for another win, Justine. Now, I've seen this everywhere. Look, mm -hmm. it also says seen on TV. Oh, have you seen it on TikTok? Mm, maybe. Maybe, I don't <laughs> know. But I really wanna try this, because I have something very similar for an apple. It's in my drawer right now, and it works amazing. So I wanna know if this works for a watermelon. Yeah, I've okay. never actually tried this. Can you help this? me open this? Yeah, I got and you. And I got us a watermelon. Look at this thing. Oh, it really is like the apple core. But it's, it's huge. This is ridiculous. It's like you just blew it up. The apple core is so great, you guys. You just put down an apple and boom, slices. <laughs> that looks like a steering wheel. It looks like you're driving. Like, <laughs> it actually is the size of a steering wheel. It's like we cut off the end. So it can stand. I got this knife. No, you 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 got the knife skills. I mean, I don't know. Because like, I'll do one end, you okay. do. Well, um, I don't know if we do both ends. Oh, I don't know. You could do that end. <laughs> Is that enough? Let me see. No, that's not enough. Give I want it, it to more. sit like flat. Well, I don't know if we you do. You know, so it won't roll around when I'm trying to cut it. God dang it. Okay, try How's that. that. Is that gonna stand? Yeah. It's a little okay. wobbly, but they cut off this top yeah, too. Yeah, cut that, cut that one too. Oh God, the fingers. Mm, your nails Just, nice. you wanna do this one? Okay, sure. Um, it's okay. It, it's fine. Okay, now you line it up here. in the middle. Mm. Oh, we're gonna have to stand up for this. Just, you know, I'm gonna need your help here. Yeah, I, hold on, I'm gonna get up too. Ow, oh, I hit my head on the boob. Oh, oh I didn't even know that was there. Okay. Mm. Here. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Satisfied. Oh, I, mean, I need to take a picture of this it. This is so cool. Wow. Look at the scraps out the way. Look what we just did. Oh. I mean, that's a centerpiece. This I is, mean, this is wow. Instagram story worthy. Yeah, this is. You need a shakuri board. Throw some flowers and fruits in here, or a fruit bowl. You guys take the center part out like this, just like that. Yeah, and then look at this. It could be. Oh, a oh, it could be a fruit bowl. We should try a slice. We should. I mean, we. That is a perfect freaking slice. This is amazing. How? How? Oh my god, watermelon is so good. I always buy them, mm. and then I never want to cut them because mm. I hate cutting watermelon. Me too. This is great. This is amazing. You know what's cool about it? You can cut. <laughs> is it, you can cut slices and have little um, watermelon pennies. Yep. I'm sorry, watermelon what? <laughs> Watermelon pennies. You know Pe banana pe pennies? Oh, pennies. Okay. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pennies. That's like a half dollar. Wow. Two wins. I'm impressed. Justine, this is going to sound weird, but I found some gadgets for the sink. Sink gadgets. Yeah, it's right behind me, so let's pop over here. Okay. We're going to see if this works. The next two gadgets we have are for the sink. I've got one over here. I, I can't read the name. It's not in English, but um, we're going to do this one second. And Justine, we're going to try this one first. And it's not really a gadget. It's... Um, there's a sponge, but it's laying on a bed. Mm -hmm. And I spend a lot of time on TikTok and I have not seen this. Is that because I don't clean? That is from TikTok. <laughs> there's a whole world of cleaning videos on TikTok. Mm. And the joke is, is that like you're doing dishes so much you could fall asleep here. So this is like the sleepy time bed for your sponge. I love it. I think it's just a sponge holder. It was under a kitchen gadget, technically. It says this is not a toy, and it's a choking hazard. Let's try this okay, out. Okay, are we so doing this one first? Yeah, let's open it up. Okay, here we and go. And then see if we can have it sit in this little bed. Like, I think it's already set up. I think it's basically just like a dish. <laughs> so, that's it. Okay. Oh no, it goes underneath the pillows. Yeah, which is, okay. that's a feature. It is a feature, holds that little sponge in place. Oh, I like that it has a little, like, little, um, oh, oh wait. You gotta oh, you got to show, oh. So you can, okay, this is oh, okay. actually Whoa. cool, because you need to remove the bed frame so yep. that you can get the water out mm -hmm. and clean it. And like a soap dish, it has that for the water to drip down in. So wow. it's not So it's not just a flat bed where it's sitting as a soggy sponge. It's actually kind of cute. I love it. Justine, will you put it in my kitchen? Yes. We're gonna keep it, we're gonna give her a go. Okay, where should we put it? it? Right here. Okay. How's that? Love it. I like that it's white. It yeah. goes with the countertops. You know what? For a cute little thing, a little sponge holder, it's, cute. it's cute. It works. Well, what is this? <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay. I can't read it, so I don't even know what it is. I'm giggling because, okay, this says it's a dishwasher. So maybe like if you're in an apartment that doesn't have a dishwasher or you're traveling, you fill up a sink with like water and soap, Plug this puppy in, throw it in, and it's supposed to create a dishwasher. So you're plugging it in and then yeah. throwing it into the sink. 
because that's literally everything that my mother has told me as a young child to not do. Plug something in and then throw it into a sink. Now that you're saying it out loud. Like the hair dryers, they all have the warnings like, okay, don't throw this in water. Okay. Do you yeah, think you're going to get little, I'm electrocuted? A well, I'm a little nervous because- What does it say? Are there any warnings? Okay, here's the fan. This is not waterproof. I mean, this is just a cord. No. This is just straight up a cord going in here. There's something. Oh, oh what's this? This is cute, little suction cup thing. Hold on, there's directions. Yes. We, uh... <laughs> this is loosely translated. Wave Maker Super Shock Wave Dishwasher. Okay, you don't want to call your product wave Super Shock. Wave Maker Super Shock. Oh. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, no. You just want Wave Maker Dishwasher. You don't want Super wave Shock. Wave Maker Dishwasher, not Super Shock. This is so I thought this was silly and now I'm terrified. Translated. Put in water, the water okay. level is full of bowls. Sucker fitting double sided magic sucker. Sucker fitting magic side double sucker. The Check. sucker grabs the bottom of dishwasher on one side. The other side, the sucker absorbs the wall of dishwashing base. This is so absolutely. I think we do that, right? Yeah. So yeah. This, is, this is great suction cup, by the way. So look at this diagram. I think this Half. kind of actually stays out of the water. This is supposed to stay out of yeah. the water. I know. Okay, let's fill the sink. Oh yeah, it's not supposed to go in the water. You're that. trusting this suction cup with like... Your life? Yeah. If this is my last day on earth, um, please see my will. Uh, replace Cookie's name with blueberry 50-50 with coconut. I have them in my will. Well, yeah, I you haven't updated it though. I don't have one. Just see. Give everything to Jenna and let her figure it out. Okay, so let's die. Okay, bye. We need to fill this up with water. Yeah. We gotta get this suction cup on there right. It says it has two functions. Oh, it's already on. How do oh I turn it off? Oh my goodness. Oh God, okay, I'm gonna unplug it. Okay, do gonna... not touch high speed rotating water blade. Oh, okay. <laughs> now you tell us. Let's do some dish soap. These measuring spoons are dirty. Look at that, I'm there's dirt. Cheesy, dirt. so ew. Throw those in there. Oh. Oh, there's another side. Is the product waterproof? Is there a leakage of electricity? <laughs> yeah. It can be immersed in one meter underwater for a long time. How, okay, but how long? A long time? What is what that? What is a long time? Also, what's a meter? You know, I think I put too much soap in here. We're You're not right. gonna be able to see it. I gotta take some of these bubbles out. I gotta remove these so we can see the big way. Where are you gonna, where are they I'm going? I'm gonna put them over here. I got another sink. Okay. The bubbles are winning. Oh, look at this. I got a dirty coffee cup. Okay, big wave happening okay. now. Big I'm ready. shock wave. I'm ready. I don't see a single wave. I it's mean, making little ripples. Little ripples. That's the new name of this product. Little ripples. So if we stick our hand in there, like that's doing absolutely nothing. Like I, you're gonna have to take the cup and like put it over top of, it's not doing anything. Like, it's not gonna, gonna wash your cup. Look, is that getting your lipstick off? You, you guys, know. look at this. It's not even, it's not doing, it's not gonna get clean. I think you might need to use your bedtime sponge. Okay, here's our backup. Let's try this, Justine. Oh wow. oh, wow. Okay, there we go. This is a fail. I thought this was gonna be fun, cause you know, you travel a lot, so I'm always looking for fun stuff when you're on the go. You know, like little stoves and stuff, so I like that kind of stuff. I was really hoping that this would be cooler. It's really bad. Bro, I just want you to know that rhyme, but also, I've done this before. <laughs> you have? Yes. Okay, don't tell me if this one works or not because I'm so excited for this. I'm excited for you to try this because it's actually really, really fun. Okay, I found this online, I fell in love because it makes ice cream. It's a ball that makes ice cream. You basically like put ingredients in it, you know. It's so easy. You, you close the ball and you literally go kick it around in the backyard. And I used to play soccer in high school and that was like one of my favorite sports. So I was just, I fell in love with this idea. Should we do it? Because yes. it takes a while. You gotta kick around just for a while. Work. Don't tell me. I'm not, gonna I'm not gonna tell you if it worked, but I'm just gonna but, say. But tell me. I'm like, don't tell me, but tell me. Don't do you tell like me, but ice tell cream? Me. Yes. Me too. <gasps> we might yeah. not even have to kick it around. Just have the dogs do it. It's heavy though. Give it a, give it a like a. Oh, okay, it's like a medicine ball. It's yeah. like you could do these crunches mm -hmm. with it. This doesn't open to say. anything, Justine. I thought this was gonna have an opening for me. You gotta, you gotta There's turn it. There's nothing. So one side we put the ice, I believe, and then the other side we put the cream. So okay. I, I brought some ingredients. We're making classic vanilla today. 
because I had the vanilla extract. So we need to mix the ingredients in a separate container. We got ice, we got a bowl. Okay, so we need our um, cream. Okay. Yep. All right, in here we go. we go, here we go. And then we need our sugar. See, I'm good at this. this you got is, this. This is in my wheelhouse. And then we need one and a half tisps okay. of vanilla. All right, one and a half tisps coming up. Tisp it up. One and a half, so this is a half, so I, then I gotta do three of them. Just a little extra. Mix that up. Okay. And then we're gonna be pouring the mixture into the metal cylinder, leaving about an inch at the top for expansion. Yeah. Okay, so I pour it in here. Yep. And I gotta eyeball it. I only want about an inch. Yeah. And then we're just gonna do one of these. Fill the other chamber with as much ice as possible, then add Ooh. a half cup of rock salt. Here, you got okay. the ice. It looks like big chunky rock candy. Yeah. And you just put it in here? Yeah. This really could be a good medicine ball for working out. Well, now it's it's perfect. You work out and then you eat you the cream. You work out and then you get the treat. This is so, what a motivation. Okay, so now we need to roll and play. We roll, shake, or pass the soft shell <laughs> ball. It mixes and freezes the ingredients for 10 minutes. Do not drop, kick, throw, or bounce. Don't drop, kick, or drop, I or kick. Drop, or kick. Kick? We, we can do like Soccer. a little, yeah, it's just like, you know, I know I don't like kick. Okay, so we need to do this for 10 minutes. 10 minutes and counting. Okay, she knows. Okay, let's do it, Justine. Okay. I'm gonna roll this to you. All right. Okay, ready? Yep. Oh, it's heavy. You guys are gonna get hit. Oh, just kick it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, I can hear it slushing I around. Know. It's heavy. Okay. Ugh. Oh, geez. This might take us 45 minutes. I'm gonna go further away, so maybe okay. we get a longer range. Okay. Ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a good one. Oh, no, don't oh, bounce, no. don't bounce. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no, did I break it? No, we're good, it has gone back. Oh, uh, shoot, that do was- Do not bounce. That was a close one. Do not one. bounce. You know what you can do these? Like in soccer, we used to do little soccer drills. And a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Yeah, you got it, Justine. Yes, like that. And you're like, oh, did I? Oh, oh did I? Oh, did I? <laughs> yep. Oh, 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 oh. Boom. Olympic, Olympic. Oh, God, that's so heavy. <laughs> so heavy. Like, you actually can't <laughs> kick it. I don't think we've kicked well, it enough. I don't think so either. This is a lot, Justine. It's a lot of work. How much time is left on my timer? Five minutes. Oh, my, my gosh. gosh. It feels like we've been doing this forever. You know what? We should just roll it on the table. So, like, I picture this is going to be us at the retirement home one day. Yeah. We've just invented a new retirement home game. So cool. we are back from rolling this around in, you know, where dogs go to the bathroom. Yep. And then we're gonna eat it. <laughs> to like, totally Perfect. fine. Yeah. Oh! <gasps> that, is that it? Yes, look at that. Yes. Okay, I got bowls, I got cones. I want an ice cream cone. I want to try to go for it. Well, okay. Uh, bring your cone over. Okay. I'll just, uh, I will s I'm gonna get you some, some ice cream here. I can't see in there, so I'm just excited. Just yeah, like, yeah, yes. Know, fine. Here you go. There you go. Just your ice cream cone. I hope that you enjoy. I oh my god! Did you want a little bit more? Gosh, the texture is just so soggy. This is so. It does recommend that we uh, do it longer, but I'm oh, impatient. okay. Well, we got Wait. one chunk. Wow! I'm not sure what to think of this gadget because let's get a bowl. I mean, Here. it's super soupy, but it does say if you play with it longer, it will. That soup. That suit. I mean, we played with it a long time. I mean, we did like 10 minutes. Oh, but wait, look here, look, look, look. On the sides, though, is where the real okay. ice cream is. You can see in there. This is a very small bite. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, this is getting everywhere. Now, this <gasps> is melting very quickly. I would recommend playing with this for maybe 20 to 40 minutes. Ooh. Let's taste it. Ingredients are simple and delicious, but it is soupy. Oh, that's good. Mm, it's delicious. I used a recipe. It's a great recipe. It's a cool idea. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we gotta clean this mess up. I've got one more gadget. Last and hopefully not least is this kitchen gadget. This is for reheating your food and for it not to get soggy. Like when you have pizza or french fries and you put it in the microwave and reheat it, it gets, you know, it's all soft. So this is literally called a crisp Pot. You put your food in here and you pop it in the microwave and it's supposed to save time so you don't have to do it on the stove. 
the one, th so I feel like yeah. I'm getting a lot of parental um, red flags popping up here. Things that my yeah. mother has told me not to do. Don't stick electrical items into the sink. Yeah. Don't put metal items in the microwave. Bro, this is, this yeah. is, this is metal. I hear you, and I also have those concerns, but this says for microwave only. I don't know if this is some special kind of metal that works with the special waves in the microwaves that they're friends. It just has a lot of warnings that everything's gonna be hot when you take it out of the microwave, including these uh, silicone handles. This is uh, the crisp pot and the instructions. There's various things that you can cook, like fried eggs, omelets, stir-fried vegetables. It's also great for reheating things. Yeah, so, okay, that's what I got to reheat. Yeah. Okay, so I got us some McDonald's fries. Oh, of course, yeah. When you reheat these, they're gonna get mushy in the microwave, so I thought if we reheat these and they stay crisp, that's a great test. Then it will work. And I also got some pieces of pizza. Look, he's the floppy wing. So is there anything that we're supposed to do? They're great, even cold. I think we just put them in and see what happens. Do we do lid on, right? Because it's got this little ventilation thing. I think this I might think be so. part of the science. Yep. But there's no instructions, really. For each use. Okay, okay, I've read something. Uh, we need to brush the pan with oil or use a non-stick cooking spray. Place the pan in your microwave's turntable, set the power at 100%, and preheat for three minutes. Wait, what? We have to preheat it. You heat the pan by itself. Yeah. Here we go, okay. Spray, preheat three minutes. I'm gonna go heat this okay. up. With the lid, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't say. Okay, you can see steam coming out of here. Look. Oh, right. Okay, be very really careful. Do you wanna take that off? Okay, so yeah, you put the fries Whoa. in. Steam. Ooh, listen, it's cooking already. Oh, it smells good. Okay, go put that back in the okay, microwave. Okay, okay. For, I don't know, like two minutes, three minutes? Let's do a minute, see where we're at. The hot pot is coming in hot. The crisp pot, we're hoping for some crisp french fries. Oh, there's some sizzling action going on. I hear the sizzle. Okay, be careful, this is supposed to be really hot. Is it? They're not crisp, they're squishy. Okay, it's squishy, but it's good. This is not what my dreams were. Get one from the bottom. Okay. Oh God. Is it crispy? That's freaking crispy. Hot. And hot. Hot, oh God, my lips are burning. Mm, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. If you get one from the very bottom, yeah. crispy. It's freaking crispy. You're not gonna get crispy on all sides. You're only gonna get crispy on the side touching. You know what, it might be perfect for pizza. Yeah, because you're gonna get that crispy the, bottom. I'm gonna give it one more shot. So this says for no. the frozen pizza, it says take the lid away at half time. Pizza. This is still greased. It's still hot. I mean, it's ready to go. Okay, it's a big piece. Well, let's it's do a big this. piece of pizza. We'll just um. I mean, they give you a generous slice. That is generous. They, they don't. They don't shave you on the, the pizza slice. Do we do want to do lid on for two minutes? Yeah. And then lid off for two. Go. It's going in, Justine. Here we go. Ooh, I think I'm actually smelling pizza now. Same. How much time do we have left? Let's see, uh, 15, 14, Woo! 13 seconds in counting. I haven't even seen any sparks, like there's no fire, the fire department hasn't showed up yet. No, this is surprising. I, I, I was scared. Do you but see now, any sparks in there? No, it's all good. Oh, here we go, here we go. The cheese is sizzling. It's like at restaurants when you order like a fajita and it comes out in a hot dish and it's still sizzling when it arrives at your table. I mean, that is the level we're talking about right here. I'm gonna give oh. it just a second because it's really hot. Oh, it is. It's really, really hot. hot. Okay, that's actually, I mean, that's definitely way crispier than I think if you would have put it into Woo! just like the regular microwave. Let's scoop them up. All right, let me see, I'm gonna tear this. Ooh, hot, hot. Ooh, hot. So it's hot. Woo! <laughs> yeah, that is really hot. Hey, you hear that? <gasps> that was crunch. Is your tongue okay? <laughs> no, I'm trying to let the microphone okay. hear the crunch. That's a good reheat. Yeah. Okay, for pizza, mm -hmm. this is great. It works. You can put it in the microwave and it will make whatever is touching this side crunchy. Also, the size of it is this big. So if you wanted to heat up two slices of pizza, it's not very accommodating for that. So basically I think about it is, does it work? Yes. Will it save me time? Probably not. So for me, this gadget is, a, it works, but it's, I would pass on it. But if you really only have a microwave, like you could, this is it. Like for college dorms, like things right. like that. Like this is actually perfect. Maybe not perfect, but I might be just like right. overselling it a little bit. Did you have a favorite thing that we talked about today? Oh, okay. I love the corn. The corn, 
<laughs> Decauber, the corn stripper, was definitely high on my list. The corn stripper. I love it. Yeah, I like that one and the watermelon one. It was the first two that we did. I was so impressed. I couldn't believe like that they actually worked. I could do it. It was pretty great. I love them. All right, that does it for Trying Kitchen Gadgets part trillion billion. <laughs> a big thank you to Justine. Justine, thank you for coming over and testing all of these gadgets with of me. Of course. This was so fun. This was great, and honestly. We got, we got some wins. We really did. I mean, it started off strong. It really yeah. kind of was all downhill from there. Yeah, it kind of fizzled out. But those first two were definitely, it was a hit. It was really impressive. Mm -hmm. And I'm keeping them. Yeah. I mean, I think I know what to get you for your birthday. I corn am, gadgets. I cannot wait. We I think we still should do a full corn gadget video. All right, if you guys want to see it, please comment your corn emojis down below in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. And go follow Justine. We have tons of videos together over on her channel. Probably a million billion trillion over there as well. We have so many. And also don't forget, you guys can get Rose 10 year anniversary. Oh, this Merch is correct. Limited this is edition. Correct. Woo, woo, woo. Happy 10 years. So cool. It's the Call of Duty it's, cake. That was very early on. I can't believe. I can't believe it's flown by. You guys are the best. And we also filmed a fun video over on Justine's channel. So go check it out. I'm putting a link down below to that as well. There may or may not be lightsabers. Mm. Spoiler. <gasps> Yes! <laughs> All right, go check it out. All right, bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. And if you want to watch the other videos, you can click up here. Or up here. Or there. Or there. Or there. Or there. Or there. Or there.